Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, I went down and got some diesel today and I've got this thing temporarily set up, basically test center. I got the exhaust just shooting out, aiming up towards the vent if I have to. I have a fire extinguisher right there if I need it. And that was me running into that lever like I do all the time. I think we'll bring this a little closer because I don't know what to expect. And we're gonna turn this, we're gonna turn it on. We're gonna turn it on and see what happens. It says on. Oh, there it is. And okay, I feel air coming out. And now I know it's gotta prime itself. So you see the little fan spinning, that's kinda of cool. So while this is thinking about what it's doing. I don't, okay, I feel air here. You can kind of hear it, I don't know if you can hear it. And my cold air intake is back there. Now, I'm just tapping the power off of this battery again. So this battery gets used for a lot of my stuff and I think I might just run a permanent test over here and just have a positive and negative terminal on here so I can just test stuff on the bench. So I've got the fuel tank pretty full. Now you can see it in there. I didn't fill it all the way up. But I don't hear the ticking yet. I don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, I didn't set anything. I just stuck this crap on, set it up in the block so I can make a bend coming off of the exhaust. And this is just gonna hold it because I have no clamps on anything. All the clamps are just Everything's still laying in the box. Even this big heater pipe thing. Okay. Now it's ticking, hear it? So that's the pump ticking. So now it's, it's gonna take a while because it's gotta pump all that air out of the system. Boop, back her up a little bit. Oh, this smells hot. That smell like a smell hot coming out of here. Yeah, it smells like something's heating up inside. It's on three. This display is dim. When I'm up here, I don't see it. When you start bending down is when you start seeing the display. You basically gotta be looking right straight at the damn thing. Now it's pumping a little faster. You can hear the clicking. Yeah, right now it's cooled down, man. It's uh, about 66 in here right now, which to me is comfortable. Okay, now the ticket's going even faster. Which is typical, because I've seen other videos doing this. Let's read in four. Yeah, that smells hot in there. It's probably the chambers, the glow plug is probably getting hot and it's got no fuel coming in yet. I have a feeling that's gonna start smoking like a train when it first fires off. The clicking's really picked up. What's this other pipe doing? I gotta watch out for this. Hey, you hear it? That's a combustible air or some crap is pulling fresh air in into the burn chamber. Oh, this is oh, this is really picking up the air now. It's really blowing here. It's blowing cold air, but the the fan has increased. Oh, it just fired up. Here. I can hear rumbling. Oh, it's getting hot. So it just fired. 
and this is getting hot. Oh, I see some smoke. See the smoke? I don't know if you can see the smoke. Those freaking LED lights are playing havoc with this camera. I'm going to kill these lights. Kill these background lights. All right. What? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that megahertz crap is. Yeah, this is this is feeling really warm here. Like a smell, like diesel smell. So what is it doing now? It's got arrows pointing at the bottom. I don't know what that means. Fresh air in, fresh air out. Well, they're on the right side because this is hot, and that's, that's where it's supposed to be. So I don't know what it's doing. So it looks like it, everything has stopped. I should probably read the freaking manual before I, uh, you know. But it shows on the book that... The cold air goes in the... Why is this thing focusing? Let me clean this lens. Might be dirty. Okay, now it's pumping again. I hear pumping again. Yeah. Okay, she's back again. Hear it? I wonder if the temperature is set low on this thing. What does this remote do? On, off. What's the plus do? Plus doesn't do anything. Is there even a battery in this thing? That's not even lightening up. Must be it's got a battery protector in there or something. Okay. Kind of sounds like my furnace in the house. Surprisingly... I know this thing isn't running yet, really full speed, but I'm not getting stunk out of this place. Pumps increasing again. Pumps really increasing. Oh, here comes the heat. Heat's coming up. Listen to that. Maybe it's got a uh, slow fire stage. Here comes the heat. Oh, it feels nice. I'm kind of wondering if it has like a break-in setting when you first turn it on. Jesus. That's really blowing some air. It's starting to sound like a freaking rocket. This is the 8K unit. Damn. Are you freaking kidding me? Ooh, that's hot. Holy shit. I mean, that exhaust doesn't smell that bad. I'm going to have to back up away from this thing. Holy Christ. You know, I bet you this would heat my freaking house. I'm wondering if I could pipe that into my uh, um, pellet stove. Cut into my pellet stove line. Holy crap. I'm having to back away from this thing. This is where I'm at. I don't know if you can see my shirt moving in the wind. Look at my shirt. That's the wind coming out of this. I'm four feet from it. And it's pushing my shirt in. 
Oh my god, this thing's freaking amazing. Holy shit. Now I am how the hell far away? Hey. How far am I away from this thing? I'm five feet away right now from that. So I'm back up all the way against my toolbox, which is right here. And you can still see my shirt moving from the wind coming out of this thing. Wow, you can't hold your hand more than a foot from this. Holy shit. This is freaking amazing. You know, some of them, I honestly didn't think it put out this kind of heat. I thought it, this would be a joke. I'm impressed. Holy Christ, am I impressed. It's quiet. I mean, you hear this because I'm inside. But if this was outside, you wouldn't hear that. Wow. Woof. Yeah, I'm really impressed with this thing. So you can hear this sucking air in. So that's a fresh air in. This is the fan in. All right, there's a fan. This is unbelievable. Can you imagine if your power goes out, you can run this thing in a house, stick this out your window somehow, or make an extension and get it out your window without burning any window parts. I'm telling you right now, this would probably heat my freaking house. Wow. I'm just beside myself. I can't believe it. The air is so hot. And right now it's calmed down. It's slowed down. I don't understand this shit. So, I mean, what is that on the top? Is that my Wi Fi signal or something? What is that? Probably help if I look at this, right? Woof, I can't even stand in front of that thing. Unbelievable. Should not be connected to blah, blah, blah. The ticking now is just barely ticking. Before it was going tick, 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 tick. See, this is why you can't run kerosene because you need the diesel fuel. What the hell is that running across my yard? What the hell? What is that? So many freaking dogs in my yard. Christ. That's that goddamn Rottweiler. This guy's freaking Rottweiler keeps getting out all the time. Or Pitbull. Hey, what are you doing here? Get out of here. Goddamn Pitbull. No, I'm not afraid of dogs. I used to be, uh, animal control for Utica for a while. I've gone up against pit bulls and everything. It was fun. So no, I'm not, I'm not, I'll go right out after a dog. I don't care. All right, let's see. Blah, 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 maintenance. My dogs are in the window barking because they saw them. Oh, my dogs are out on the porch now. Yeah, that's it. You know, there's a pit bull running around, so let your dogs out of the house. How stupid. You saw that doggy? You saw that bad doggy? He will bite your ass off, man. Get in the garage. That freaking pit bull again. The, yeah, I just chased him out of here. I went after him. Yeah, because there's that brown pit bull again. I saw him on the camera. I saw something run past the camera. I'm like, what is that, a skunk or something? Man, this heater is unfreaking believable. All right. Okay, go back in the house. Where's noodles? 
Come on, noodles, get out of the garage. Come on, go back to your mom. Come on, girls. All right, no doggy. All right, always some exciting BS going on. Okay, I'm impressed. I am, besides myself, I said that before, I'll say it again. I cannot believe how quiet this is and the amount of heat. I mean, I'm back this far right now. It's probably three feet. My hand's hot. Let's see, how close can I get before I got it? Oh, nope. That's it. Right there. About a foot. You can't get a foot from it. Woof. All right, how do you turn this thing off now? I don't know if I turned it off or what. Do you hold the button down? Okay, I just turned it off. Okay. You have to hold the button down. Okay, so it doesn't just instantly shut off. So now it's going down to the cool. Okay, so the burn chamber just calmed down. The clicking stopped. It's still blowing the heat out. Ow. Wow. You hear once in a while you hear it clicking, but the fan's still running. Of course, the display's still on. And it shows the little fan turning in the back. Oh, this thing is freaking awesome. I can't believe this. Do you know how awesome this is for backup heat in case something happens and you lose your power out at power? My whole house is wired for 12 volts. I could tap this thing in and boom, instant heat. And the amount of heat that this puts off is absolutely amazing. I mean, this is like, what, 100 hours? I think it was 100 bucks I paid for this. Wow. She's still blowing hotter now. So, you saw I ran it with an open pipe. I mean, I'm sure there's some stuff you don't want to breathe coming out of there. But, it didn't bother me. I wasn't getting overpowered. I wasn't getting smoked out of here. Smoked a little bit at first, probably because of the newness of it burning off. Wow. Yeah, you, know, you heard me before making fun of this thing, but... I mean, I wish they put these instructions a little bit bigger so I can understand what the hell's going on here. If I turn that light on, that'd help. Press key to modify the pump volume. I'm not messing with anything. This thing runs good the way it is. But I'm going to have to look at what this remote, what, what all this stuff says and does and stuff. I mean, they give you the on and off which I like, it says on and off and then plus or minus. So I'm assuming that's the heat. Which is which would be really cool because you, know, you turn it on and then you set your heat where you want it. And that's that's it. So got my fresh air filter there. Wow, I like this. I really like this. I mean it's very rare I buy some Chinese thing and you end up falling in love with it because it's just freaking cool. So it'll run from uh, 1K up to 8 kilowatts, or 8, whatever. 12 volt, 40 watts. 40 watts is nothing. Why won't this damn camera focus anymore? Oh, that's why. I had it on the, there we go, I had it on the wrong setting. So, 1,000 watts to 8,000 watts of heat. And it only pulls 40 watts of power. That's nothing, 40 watts. As you can tell, the wires they connect with are small. The upper, the ones on top, compared to the ones I hooked it to, which is a 12 gauge, so. And that just runs over, and I just have them stuck underneath the clamps. I don't even have them fully bolted on, they're just, stuck under the clamps all right I tell you I'll put a link in the description when I bought this thing check them out yourself the exhaust is cooled down I can hold my hand really close to it I, it's hot this is still blown out okay now it's cooled down I'd probably say it's about 
100, 120 right now. No kidding. All right, everybody. That's the end of my uh, my test firing because you saw what I did. I just basically cobbed in some 12 volt power, filled my tank up before the video was on, just shoved this pipe in this way, shoved that pipe in the other way. This don't even have clamps on them. I just stuck them in there. So if you ever do this and you look underneath, you don't know which is which. Hot end, first pipe. Cold end, first pipe. So your cold air intake is on the back. Hot air out, hot air out. So, because you know it's got the two pipes underneath there, and before I didn't know what is what. So, the hot pipe is always on the front end of it, and the cold pipe, the fresh air intake is on the back, which makes sense, you know. Hot muffler, hot heat, whatever. In case you're wondering. Well, that's it. I'm going to let this puppy cool down, which is almost cooled down now. I can easily hold my hand right on it now. Wow, that is freaking cool. That's even cool looking in there. Okay, that's it. I'm, uh, I am super freaking happy with this. I just can't believe it. All right, guys, have a good one. Thanks for watching. And this is one of my happiest videos I think I've ever made. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. If you like to see more stuff like this, I recently got the Cash App. And I do PayPal for donations if you want because money only goes so far with me to test stuff, buy stuff, and do stuff. And, uh, you know, every little bit helps. I don't like asking for freaking money. I mean, but I want to keep this garage going. I want to keep some pretty cool videos going and, and do some different stuff. And uh, I have a few ideas of some stuff I want to do in the future. But at the moment, I don't have the funds. So they just wait. And everything just waits until I can get around to it. So, okay. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.